All right, guys, welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So I, I didn't want to really talk about the news until there was a little bit more information on what the Dokkan Fest was going to be, but I figured why not go over it now that we have all the information. So straight off the get-go, we have the new uh, Dokkan Fest Vegeta, who is from the Planet Namek Saga when he did the Dirty Fireworks, which is really awesome. It's also his fight against the... Um, Zarbon, that's who it was. It's also his fight against Zarbon as well. So he greatly raises his attack uh, permanently on his uh, super attack effect, and then he also raises his defense by 20% infinitely as well. Uh, he has it where his leader skill is Planet Saga, Gifted Warriors, and Inhuman Deeds, with an additional 30% to Dragon Ball Seekers or Pure Saiyans. Honestly, at this point, I feel like he should have just been a Pure Saiyans leader. I, I really don't like it when they take these really like decent categories that need new leaders and they just make it the 30 percent instead i had a big issue with it with kamehameha until super uh super saiyan gohan obviously got his 200 percent but like i don't know me personally I, I don't really like it when they put like pure saiyans for like example i wish that it was just a 170 percent at this point like i wish tech vegeta was also like that but it is what it is Planet Amic Saga, I think, is going to get a whole bunch of different EZAs of celebration, but we'll have to see, honestly, because they, they already teased some of the EZAs, and not not to, like, go into it too much, but, like, it, it's Tech Ogeta and Physical Janemba as, like, the part EX, quote-unquote, for the Worldwide Dylan celebration, so, yeah. But anyways, he has it where he gets three key and 180% attack and defense for the rest of the battle when only facing one enemy on the character's attacking turn. Uh, if you're facing more than one enemy at the start it doesn't matter it just has to you know be one enemy at some point he gets 50 percent attack and defense per key sphere obtained up to 500 percent um not not like the worst thing it is nice to always have something multiplicative of course but it does bring a lot of rng to this character for sure he reduces damage received by 30 percent and his chance of evasion by 18 percent when getting uh five or more agl key spheres he also gets an additional 30% evasion and an additional 18% damage reduction if his HP is 50% or more. And then it launches an additional super attack if his HP is 50% or less uh, at the end of the uh, turn. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, oh wait, no, sorry, sorry. Uh, I think the 50% or more is tied to the, yeah, it is launched the additional super attack. My bad. If he has 50% or less at the end of the turn, he also gets an additional 50% defense and a high chance to perform a critical hit from that turn onwards. Uh, after the character has performed five super attacks or more in the battle, changes all key spheres of, uh, well, just all key spheres to AGL key spheres at the start of the character's next attacking turn. And from that character's attacking turn going forward, he randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to AGL, uh, except for obviously AGL key spheres. Now, I, I, I like the orb changing already. You know, having it where he have, we have a rainbow orb changer is nice. Uh, I, I kind of see it in the same path of his, like, physical Kid Goku, where he is an orb changer, but you kind of want to just give him AGO orbs, while Kid Goku wanted you, uh, you to give him just, like, random orbs in general, right? But I, I, I am like, a little bit curious to see how that is. Uh, like, with the AGO key spheres, I, I'm not, like... This is because he doesn't change it at the start, right? He only changes it once he does the five super attacks in battle. But we'll have to see. I, I don't want to downplay this guy too much. I think he's going to be a really good Dokkan Fest for sure. Having the dodge chance will mean that he can live uh, most super attacks, you know, and, and the damage reduction as well. Um, I, I don't know how I would place him though. I, I kind of, just like looking at his details, I think that he, he looks very similar to tech vegeta but like if you took away a little bit of his defense and almost purely added it into offense right but I, I don't know if i'll really like tech vegeta more than this vegeta just because of that but again we'll have to see how things kind of play out of course and then he also has the active skill too where he can uh do it after four super attacks he massively raises attack uh and then he also gets an additional 50 percent attack for the rest of the battle which is nice uh, it just gives him, like, a massive attack boost, right? But, again, we'll see. He has Saiyan Warrior Race, Royal Lineage, Prodigies, Brutal Beatdown, Saiyan Lineage, Prepared for Battle, Fierce Battle. He has got a good Saiyan links, good Vegeta links, you know. Not really much to say there. 
Then he also, like I was talking about, raises his attack uh, by 50% and his defense by 20%. Now, the thing is, is that, um, I, I well, the Cybernian unit sucks. I don't even want to go over him, if I'm being completely honest. He, he, uh, he's an interesting one for sure. But anyways, I, I, like I, this Vegeta is good. I feel like he's more of like an option that you pick up later on than somebody that you summon for. But we'll really have to see about the banner before I give my uh, initial like, oh, should you summon or anything like that. Then we go ahead and go over to Tech Vegeta, or sorry, Tech Vegeta, uh, Gogeta's EZA, excuse me. And then we have the uh, raising attack permanently on his 12 key and 50% on his 18 key while getting uh, greatly raising defense on both his 12 key and 18 key. Two uh, key and 200% attack and defense at the start of battle. And then 50% attack and defense performing super attack, 40% damage reduction, randomly changing random key spheres of a certain type to rainbow. Two uh, key per rainbow key sphere obtained. Launches an additional attack, which has a great chance to become a super attack, which is already pretty nice because it means that uh, we got a little bit of favoritism uh, compared to STR Vegito because it's just uh, guaranteed rather than, uh, I think, I'm pretty sure STR Vegito's like 70% chance is limited to the HP or that or it's the guaranteed. I can't remember which one. He also gets an additional 50% uh, attack and launches an additional super attack with the rainbow keys you obtain. He also gets an additional 50% attack and defense and reduces damage received by 20% for his first turn, similar to S here for Geo. But then he also has it where he could get it when his HP is 70% or less. Um, so this is the thing I was kind of talking about where it was like, it didn't really make sense for S here for Geo to have it, but it just kind of, it kind of worked that way, right? So S here for Geo wants to transform, right? But you also want to like, keep stacking of course and then tech Ogita comes out and then it's just like if you're below the certain amount of hp and you can't transform the damage reduction saves you in that way uh but you know like i feel like sierra vegetos because it activated mid-turn it was a little bit upsetting for sure but yeah um we also have it where tech Ogita still has the same heal Honestly, I would have liked it to be a, uh, a little bit more in like that. The, maybe the condition changed slightly, but I, I don't think 70% is that bad compared since like a lot of revives just put you at that HP range anyways. But anyways, key plus five, 250% attack and defense, 77% attack and defense when performing a super attack. He guaranteed performs critical hits, 40% damage reduction, gets uh, a random key sphere change to rainbow as per usual, three key per rainbow key sphere obtained, 77% attack, launches additional attack, and gets guaranteed guard when would just one rain rainbow key sphere is obtained, 40% damage reduction until attacking, and you also foresee enemy super attacks for five turns from the character's first appearance, so 80% damage reduction and guard before attacking, 40% damage reduction and guard after attacking. Uh, he also gets the um, ability where after he uses his 18 key, he nullifies any un uh, unarmed super attacks, Directed at the character for the duration of that turn. He also has a high chance of evading uh, enemies attacks temporarily when receiving a super attack. So even if you do get hit by a super attack, you either have a 50% chance to dodge it or you have a 100% chance to nullify it as long as it's an unarmed one. So it really protects him in literally every single way possible. It's He's amazing. And uh, Janemba is also really good too. Um, not, not like as good as a tech Ogeta, but even so i would say that uh, this is a really good uh, addition to the movie bosses team 12 key gives you uh 30 attack and defense and uh, greatly lowers enemies defense and then 18 key gets 50 percent attack and defense and uh massively lowers enemies defense six key 166 percent attack and defense guards all attacks 22 percent damage reduction launches initial attack that has a, a great chance to become a super attack uh, from the character's first appearance, which is really supposed to help you build up, which is the next part. Two key, 66% attack and defense, up to 166%, and chance performer critical hit, 22%, up to 66 with each uh, attack performed. Uh, notice that they made it where it's taken off of the slots, which is really good, because I, I didn't really like it before where you had to build up in a specific slot, but now you don't really have to worry about where you put Janema in anymore for just the stacking part. Um, he also do reduce his damage received by 22% uh, additionally when the character is positioned in the first or second slot. He also has a third attack 
uh, Guarantee, which has a great chance to become a super attack as the second or third uh, attacker in the turn. Honestly, this doesn't really matter because if you have Tech Broly, for example, you're going to want to be putting Tech Broly in first slot anyways. I don't think there's ever going to be a position where you want to put like Janemba first slot compared to Tech Broly. So first slot is already covered, right? So Janemba is going to be a perfect slot too for that team, right? So Janemba is going to have that covered. 44% uh, damage reduction, you know, multiple super attacks from giving him massive amounts of defense. Pretty good. Grand chance, great chance of nullifying, excuse me, uh, key blast super attacks directed at the character. High chance of evading enemies attacks temporarily when receiving a super attack. So, really similar to Tech Gogeta in terms of that, right? Uh, and then there's one more thing that I wanted to talk about before we go ahead and end, but let me just go find it real quick and then I'll be right back. All right, so two things I actually want to talk about. Uh, so, oh, let me pause that real quick. All right, uh, is there a way to have it where they just show the... Uh, give me one second, let me find the specific spot where it shows like the whole map. All right, I, I got the roadmap because I, I just kind of want to uh, uh, kind of wrap it up kind of quickly. So uh, October, we're getting the change of the summon format for the new Vegeta. The Greatest Warrior is getting an update in both the missions and the characters that we can get for free, basically giving you a full team of the Saiyan Saga uh, slash like, um, what's it called? Well, I guess we'll just say Saiyan Saga, right? Uh, the character detail screen is getting changed and I can't remember what the icon in battle is. Um, but anyways, the uh, event details is also being changed too for like the quest uh, Dokkan story and the Bardock Dokkan Awakening and then later on in November to uh, slash January we're also going to get the Frieza Awakening so both of them are already guaranteed to be LRs something uh, also just like insane too by the way is the fact that um, so because the change of the format for Vegeta the Dokkan Fest that are non LRs it seems are going to have pity very similar to where you just can get the new Dokkan Fest for 200 coins as well as it's literally just the gold coins, right? It's just non Dokkan Fest LRs, but it, it's awesome still. I, I think that it, it, this is like a really big step in Dokkan's sort of pity, and I really hope that they take notes <laughs> when they do uh, Dokkan Fest LRs too. But they already said that it's gonna be uh, not major celebrations, so don't think that that's gonna be for every Dokkan Fest banner. Um, it's all going to be for the like monthly Dokkan Fest, of course. The other main thing too is the Super Dragon Ball Heroes crossover carnival, which is going to be awesome. Obviously, it is going to be uh, <laughs> amazing. I, I I hope it doesn't. It just like continues on through Dokkan and lives on through Dokkan. But honestly, uh, there's two units I'm going to be hoping for the most, which is going to be uh, Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta, of course, and or well, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution uh, Gogeta, and then uh, also. The Ultra Instinct Goku. I don't care who it is, just be one of those two units and I'll be happy and spending thousands and thousands of stones. Uh, also, they are guaranteeing, or kind of showcasing, I guess you could say, that the, the December slash January Divine Dragon Carnival is going to obviously be on both versions. I would expect, most likely, the Gammas and... Uh, well, I guess Gammos and Gogeta are probably just going to return during that time period. We'll see if Jiren returns too. I think it would be too soon, but I don't know how they're going to be doing this. Obviously, if they if they wanted to, they could probably have already returned Gammas and Gogeta by this point. But, you know, <laughs> we'll have to see how Jiren is supposed to be like put into this schedule, of course, right? The other thing too is that the 10th anniversary is co uh, approaching. Coin collecting campaign, we are going through every single one of the anniversaries uh starting from the first uh, until the 10th uh and i think they were talking about like every uh month is going to have like three different anniversaries or, or something like that or like the celebration of all three of the the three anniversaries so i wouldn't be surprised if something like str gogeta gets a super easy a uh instant gets their super easy a tech gogeta obviously already uh just got showcased for the easy a physical Janemba got the showcase for the easy a but we'll see as time goes on if like some of these other characters will get super easy as well i would hope so but we'll see you know they like to kind of, the super easy are super 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 100 percent just like unplanned it, it's i feel like it's a very much an afterthought at this point but we'll see Anyways, 
that is all this uh basically the news for probably the next month until the banners obviously drop but we'll see hope you guys all have a great issue week as always let me know what you guys think down in the comments below uh and yeah uh i will see you all in the next one peace